Welcome all. Please feel free to share this video with colleagues if you think they would find it of interest. Let's talk today about building professional relationships. Teaching can be quite a lonely experience. It depends a little bit on the organisation that you teach in. You might be teaching in a very isolated part of the world or you might be teaching a very specialist discipline. You might be the only person teaching that particular subject in your school, even in your area. And having good connections with other practitioners that understand you, understand your context, definitely do serve to lower the level of anxiety that you might feel. There's evidence to suggest that well-connected educators do suffer less anxiety. So reaching out now is much easier. There are any number of digital platforms that you can engage with and connect with other people. And in doing so, you benefit not just that level of human connectivity, but you're also using them as a source of new ideas, new sources, um, new perspectives. It's very important if you do get involved in any of these platforms that you do become a contributor as well as a consumer. That's not just because that's fair, it's just. It's also that echoing your voice is really important. Using your voice to mirror the practice of others is part of the process of building those relationships. Even if it's just go back to someone who's posted something you found of value to just say, I've used what you suggested, it worked very well for me, or it didn't and I made this adjustment and I did it this way. Having that level of feedback is really important. So I'm on a number of different platforms. I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok, I'm on YouTube and I've got my own website. But I think the two that everyone need to start with are Twitter and LinkedIn. Build a profile on LinkedIn. Doesn't have to be expansive, but at least something that gives people a sense of who you are as a person. And then Twitter is a great way of just picking up ideas, sources, perspectives, retweeting things that you think are of interest, identifying things more widely and posting them and share that community uh, experience. You'll be surprised how quickly it does build and giving you a, a solid network to lean on will undoubtedly reduce your anxiety. So you might want to try some of those platforms for yourself, see how it goes. Let me know. Be well.